Hey, hey everybody, Jason here and we're back. I wanted to shoot a quick update video for you guys today and there's some products over here on the table I wanna talk about. And I wanted to let you guys know that I decided instead of boring you guys to death with non-RC related videos and projects that I have going on in the background, I created a new and separate channel called Nerdly. If you wanna come check it out, I'll put the logo right here, you guys, and the link down in the description. Come check it out, I'd love to have you guys come out and hang out. But let's talk about some of the stuff that's on the table here. All of these project, all of these projects are projects that are, I guess you'd say behind schedule maybe. So let's start up here in the top corner. Basically this is the Hobby Wing version 3.1 and this is really my favorite 10th scale speed control. People are always asking what my favorite stuff is and I'll just tell you straight up, it's the Hobby Wing version 3.1. And they've got a newer Speedo out, I just don't have it, but we're still gonna unbox and do a review on that. I, I ended up getting this a while back and it's just it's ran behind. Here we have the Sticky Licks RC. This is a lightweight chassis that has a little bit different flex characteristic than the stock chassis for the Team Associate SC5M. We're gonna get that on. And uh, really what's happened, a lot of times, a lot of these projects have like prerequisite steps. Like obviously the, the thing has to be changed at the track under the exact same race conditions and then tested. Uh, and a lot of times I just don't have the time to do it, but I've got some people to help me out. And uh, there are other things that I, that I absolutely have to do. Like anytime I'm doing a build, I could never give you guys an honest, uh, objective opinion on a build if I didn't actually do the build. So while swapping a chassis isn't really rocket science, I can have one of my guys help me out and do this and then we can all do some testing back to back, like drive the truck before and after when we can get opinions. When it comes to actually building a kit from scratch, that's something that I just have to do and it just sometimes it just takes time. And so I went out and I bought this TLR 4.0 from my friends over there at Pacific Coast Hobbies. They hooked me up with a deal and I really appreciate it. But I didn't have an engine to run in it. And so what happened was the guys over at RC Concept had said, hey, look, we want you to try out one of our new MC5R engines, the gold head, which is pretty dialed. And, uh, you know, would you be willing to, to, to do the review? And I thought, you know, it'd be nice to do these together. And then what happened is the shipment got delayed like almost over a month. And so I just got the engine. So now we're going to do the TLR 4.0 with BK high-end servos, the RC Concept engine, We'll actually run the car, break it in, try it right out of the box, and then I'm gonna get some high level help to help me set it up, dial it in flawlessly, and make it as fast as it possibly can be, which is something we don't always do in reviews, but I just wanna kinda of step it up since this one's taking longer. This is the uh, Agama A215E, and I actually got this buggy a while back, and I was gonna really just put it off till like indoor season started, till, like September, October, but tons of people have been asking for it, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and run it over there at Thunder Alley. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll do some running at Thunder Alley than maybe over at OCRC. So hopefully we'll get that done in the next couple of weeks. Here is a fuel gun that you guys may have seen. This is actually a conversion for some of the different fuel guns that are out there. It's actually rcforspeed.com. They make these little conversions and it's pretty cool. Haven't got a chance to try it, but as soon as we run this, we'll be testing the fuel gun. Here, I actually started building one of the RC10 Worlds kits, the vintage kits a while back because I wanted to do some uh, RC vintage racing. I have a score to settle with Chris Van Ayer. And unfortunately, when I got the transmission together, I was having some issues. And so now I have a new transmission case. But along the way, one of my friends here in town had this good old fashioned vintage graphite setup. So I got a feeling I'll be doing some vintage racing here, if not this summer, for sure next, but with a super dialed graphite RC10 vintage car. And uh, I guess what's last year is the Tekken Gen 2 setup. I actually have ran a whole bunch of different eight scale speed controls. I've ran Speed Passion. Hobby Wing, LRP, Tekken, and I've, those are the ones that I've personally owned, and I've driven cars with Orions and, and Viper, all the different speed controls, or I shouldn't say all of them, but probably a bunch of them. And at the end of the day, if I'm gonna go swipe my own credit card, I'm gonna buy the Tekken stuff. It has a lot of nice features. They have an amazing support network here in the United States. A lot of big names like Drake and, and Lutz that run for them, and I just think they're a high-end product. And so I've already shot the unboxing, and I sh shot a little review, but I really wanted to step it up and show you guys some of the data logging, so we'll see where we get with that. But uh, anyways, that was just a quick update video, what we have going on over here at Short Course World. Of course, if you guys have been paying attention, you know that we have the Associated Truggy and some other kits that are kind of coming and going and stuff like that. So I promise you we're working hard, but these are just some of the reasons why we're running behind. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you could either like, comment, or even better, subscribe. I post a lot of stuff on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. So if you want to catch up with me, I'll post this stuff up for you. And you can come on over, add me as a friend, follow me on Instagram, and you'll be able to see things that just don't make it to YouTube. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.